A remote stretch of railroad tracks in the Coast Range is the subject of intense debate tonight. A railroad wants to run scenic tours through there, but the state is ordering them to quit construction right away. We're really looking just to have this work stopped right now. And tonight we're finding out why they're worried that work will hurt Oregon's wildlife. The port of Tillamook Bay Railroad was washed out during a storm and it is now being repaired. Well, take a look at where this work is happening. It's right along the Salmonberry River, which is where the problem comes in. The state says they could be putting fish at risk. Sally Showman is digging deeper into uncovering this problem. The idea is to take passenger trains just like this one up along the Salmonberry River into a canyon that's currently inaccessible because of damage from a storm in 2007. It's a vulnerable stretch of tracks. Twice in the past two decades, storms have washed away portions of the railroad along a remote stretch of the Salmonberry River. Powerful floodwaters rip the tracks off hillsides. This is video from 1996. Another storm did similar damage seven years ago, but it wasn't until early this year repairs began. We're really looking just to have this work stopped right now. Mary Abrams is the director of the Department of State Lands. In March, she issued a cease and desist order to stop construction on the railroad. She says Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad didn't file for a permit to do the work, and she worries without proper state oversight, the work could be damaging the sensitive salmon and steelhead population. The fact that they're moving rocks and they're, um, you know, within the the system, really has the potential for for damaging fish habitat, habitat and we'd like to make sure that they're not doing that. These look more like silver eggs. Well, I was hoping maybe there'd be a steelhead come up the river yet. Fishermen like Larry Van Domelen are worried too. Anytime you start messing with things, why it it can out, cause and have a negative impact on the on the uh, not only the flow of the river and uh, it's uh, you know what comes into the river too. The state only permits work in the Salmonberry between August 15th and September 15th to protect fish at sensitive life stages. But the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad contends they don't need to follow state laws. Railroads are a federally mandated industry. Why in this case would they need to file a permit with, with the state? Well, that's really where the dispute lies. We tried to get the railroad side, but their attorney would not go on camera. He did say the railroad is taking necessary steps to protect wildlife. Papers filed by the railroad in federal court claim that their work is governed by federal, not state law, because the tracks owned by the port of Tillamook Bay joined the interstate railroad system in banks. It's a small excursion uh, dinner train rather than an interstate train. Tomorrow, a federal judge will decide whether the state has authority to stop construction. I don't really know what's driving this. I, you know, they. What the railroad has told us is that they're trying to repair their tracks so that they can continue to conduct these uh, excursion train trips, uh, which we don't mind that they do that. We just want them to do it in a responsible way. Reporting along the Salmonberry, Sally Showman, Coin 6 News. Sally, thank you. And we're going to continue to follow this lawsuit and update you as soon as a decision is made. We'll bring you the new information here on Coin 6 and online at coin.com. Well, police are investigating two.